What are your thoughts on the expansion of Rider into the U.S.? Does it excite you? Does it worry you? What aspects of each... What aspects... Yeah, what aspects of it worries and excites you? Uh, I'll start off. It's cool. Let's just not do any fucking adaptations, please. Mm, pretty much. No adaptations. Uh, I enjoy it because it means I have to spend less on getting cool stuff. Mm. Or more. Yes. Uh, well, probably more. Uh, but also, um, I don't want certain types of people to be associated with things I like. So, I will leave it at Basically. that. Basically. Like I said, um, look, yeah. I've said it before, and the aspects that worry me were the aspects that Takeshi himself pretty, a long time ago exactly my point. brought up. Same. But at the same yeah. time, I'm really cool with them bringing more toys over. That's awesome. You know, being able to go into a GameStop and be like, that's the Zero One driver for $30. Holy shit. And just take it off the shelf and buy it. That's cool. That would be great. Be able to see figure arts. To be able to see figure arts in toy stores. That's cool. Be able to just be able to just go in and be like, man, that final form for whatever writer came out this week. I don't want to buy it off Amazon. I can go to Walmart. Hey, it's yeah. right there. That's cool. But at the same time, I don't want adaptations. And see, this isn't even going into like the people that would be into the adaptation and stuff like that, you know, the types of people who would attract it. It's just, if you get adaptations, you're going to get people who hate them yeah. for one reason and one reason only. The toys are going to suck. We already know what Bandai of America does to Power Ranger toys. Mm -hmm. So why would you want them to do that to Zero One? Jeez, I could Could you imagine what the shit they would do to fucking Zero One's toys? Dude, did you, or did any you, of the toys in the past five did years? Did you see what they ah, did to you know what? Ryuki's like, toys? Did you see what they did to Ryuki's yeah, toys? Say. They basically made the fucking decked cardboard. Uh, now, to be fair, that wasn't Bandai. That was, if I remember correctly... Uh, that was another company. Uh, Play I think it was Bandai America, wasn't it? I believe it was Playtronic. Right. Or not but Playtronic. Uh, Play but ABC. Still, it's a Canadian company. Limits. I'm going to see who did this. Um, it, it wasn't Bandai, if I remember correctly. Uh, no, Bandai did the Japanese ones, obviously. Why did I type Ryuki? I should have typed Dragon Knight. Nope. <laughs> nope, they did. Uh, Bandai did it. It was Bandai? Oh, it was just... It was Bandai America. It just oh. felt like it was that level of quality. Never mind. <laughs> uh, now then, the uh, thing I'm concerned about with the bringing writer over... Well, first off, I'm very excited. I, I am incredibly excited. I, I think this is a net positive overall, if only for the fact that it won't be wait you know, five weeks as we import the new driver and you pay an extra eighty dollars, it'll be Oh Jesus. Thirty bucks down at Walmart. Which sure, I'm down for that. Um and the side effect there of it's not I need to torrent a file and potentially crash my router because my new router hates torrents, which makes me sad. Um and fill up my hard drive, it'll be let's turn on Verve. Exactly. Uh, Agreed. Which makes it easier for, you know, wusses like Phil who are afraid of torrenting uh, <laughs> to watch the show. <laughs> Phil, it took you four and a half years. No, I've actually been torrenting for four and a half years. I just watched it differently. And there you, we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have a confession on You used recorded. the yeah, uh, one that... Call the FBI. You used the one that did all the uh, bi Bitcoin mining on your computer. What? Congrats. Um, but but like, but, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it's cool in the sense that like, I mean, let I me mean, let's be honest. It's probably not going to be at Walmart. It'll probably be at stores like Think Geek and yeah, stuff like sure. that. Yeah, sure, whatever. But like, it, it's cool just to the, see the aspect because like, I go to stores. I don't buy anything from Think Geek because it's usually really expensive. But like, it's cool to go in there and be like, holy shit, I, that's Kamen Rider Gaze on the fucking shelf. I could just buy him. Fuck, it's just there, and you know. It's just there. Yeah, it's normal now. Yep, it's like, him. that's cool. And the idea of being able to be like, oh, cool, the new Comrider Zero One is coming out today. You know, maybe it'll be like on a, like on a six-hour delay because, you know, subtitles and everything. Sure, sure, but you can just watch it when it comes out in America. Exactly. Fuck you, dude. Like, I think for, like, in this situation for me personally, like, if you think about it, like, Ultraman... I think Ultraman's actually doing it really good. Oh, they are. Oh, yeah. Budaya is doing it fantastically, mainly with the fact that, first off, we're getting series DVD box sets with the movies. 
in, I think, what, Blu-ray? Not Blu-ray, but basically we're getting him in, like, high quality subtitles and everything, and especially with, like, Ultraman Z, like, we're getting a simulcast via Suburaya on YouTube English subbed. They're doing it great. Which is insane However, when you think about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. It is crazy. However, I think with Ryder and that fact, definitely what they're doing is taking like bigger and better strides towards uh, basically a global market. However, the way Ryder fans will obviously interact with the culture, like or basically with what we're given, is very risky. Again, going back to what Takashi, like Takeshi said in our previous recording, it's like simply the fact of we have we obviously have toxic fans everywhere mm -hmm. mm. and i think if anything the toku community at large it's gonna grow a lot it's gonna grow a lot more yeah however i'm also just yeah it's basically the discourse that we're gonna have like once it hits and basically yeah like i think it was actually really interesting um there's a Facebook, uh, like, basically, you know the guy Bueno, who does Garage Pro Hero TV or whatever? Yes, I know, yeah. I, there are a lot of things I don't agree with, like, in terms of his, um... Everything? I, obviously. I yeah. don't agree with him. However, he does make interesting point. Because, like, like, last night, I actually tuned in for the Heisei Generations Forever uh, panel, as well as also screening. The movie? Okay, first off... First thing is the panel. Um, it was interesting. Obviously, going to be getting like confirmed from Tamashi Nations, Bluefin, Bandai. We are going to get like retail releases a month after Japan does, which is fantastic. I can buy my figure arts. I can finally go, go plus debt, possibly debatably slightly. I don't know. I can go to GameStop and buy uh, and buy Rider stuff. Yeah, basically, that is what is currently going on. However, at the same time, like, as great as that is, and with everything going on with Ryder, I am a little afraid, mainly because the discourse that was on that panel, as well as also within the comment section of the movie, was mainly, why do I like this movie, or why do I like this series, but never, like, a deep, in-depth discussion about the series itself. Yeah. And just, like, I am a little afraid of that. Adaptations, I am a little afraid. We're not thinking, we're only engaging on it surface level. Well, it, it's kind of like when we did the ghost, the second time around, when we did the ghost episode, where I said... A lot of people who are coming into writer now, and I don't even I don't even remember how we got onto this discussion. I think it was because I mentioned that, you know people who like ghosts are always going to like ghosts, but a lot of people who are getting into writer now, they're going to use the "I like it because it makes me feel good" argument, and yeah. that's an that's a subjective thing that we can all agree on. That's subjective, without looking yeah, at it and objectively. And yeah, I think that's totally okay, I, by the way. No, yeah. it is for for us oh, yeah. for it is for the type of people who are just going to sit down and watch it and not engage in actual discourse about the TV shows. But once you really got that down to the nitty gritty, and go to somebody who can, like let's say me, I don't like Ghost, okay, and I can tell yeah. you objectively what is bad about the show. Someone like me talking to someone like that is going to make for a bad time. And if we start getting more of those people, and again, I can point you to many, many, many places, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, uh, Instagram, where I see this type of shit 4chan. a lot. Well, not even, not 4chan, really. 4chan is just a yeah, cesspool. Fuck KRG. But like, you, you see a lot of these things, and you see a lot of these people who have this, have this mindset, who aren't going to help, they're not going to help anybody. In the, land, in, the, in the grand scheme of things where they're going to be overly reactive and we've already seen what happens when producers from Japan try and interact with American fans it doesn't end well it's never ended nope. well so you can imagine my hesitation when I say don't bring it to America this fast because in the end it's going to end up 
biting somebody in the ass. So because yeah. Uh, one one thing I, I want to say thank you for AJ is mentioning that it's the reactionary fans who are just like I like it, right? The ones who go like I like it, you don't. That's fine. Yeah. Those are go. Those are good. We, I'm fine with those fans. Yeah, I know I'm a lot fine of with those too. Like that, oh, that's a good. That's a perfectly that's healthy way to like your show. Like like you and I will. I, we will both agree it, over on the Sentai side. Ninja is an objectively bad Sentai season. Oh yeah, but I enjoy yeah. it in the same way that I enjoy schlocky sci-fi movies. I think it's mm-hmm. that level of silly that I can shut my brain off and enjoy it as popcorn fodder. Is it a good Sentai season? No. Is it one of? Is it one I will watch repeatedly? Yeah, because sometimes I need to shut my stupid brain off. But see, that's the thing. That's that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of fans are coming in and I've noticed this firsthand they're more thinking that their subjective thinking is objective thinking those ones are an issue in- I and it's incredibly unhealthy because I have seen a lot of fan bases and I will point to it right now the Gunpla fan base Oof. be taken over by these types of people who are just like no, no, this is not a bad kit. It's not a bad kit. You you can just put fifty hours of work into it. And it's a good kit. It's, Those types to put of people. Fifty extra hours of work into something. It's not a good kit. I love Dungeons and Dragons Fourth Edition. I understand that it is the rotting garbage pile of Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> I had to put so much work into that to make it so I'm not spending nine hours on a stupid goblin fight. I did the work. My version's good. The base you bought the book is not the same. Exactly. It, so that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like. When you start bringing more fans like that who believe their subjectivity is objectivity, at that point you're you've ruined your you've ruined your fucking fan base, especially yeah. when these people have a very, very easy and open discourse with the producers who make this show. Yeah, Shirakura, like, I, I guarantee you, still hasn't forgotten this shit. Are we talking about? He hasn't what forgotten. I think it is? Oh, most definitely. Oh, look, look, uh, let's be honest. The Trinity incident is always going to be a, the main incident people talk about mm. because that is the one where I believe Shirakura just saw the American fan base as a bunch of ungrateful twats. Yeah. You see, like, that's also another thing. Like, as I'm actually, um, as I'm actually scrolling through Twitter right now, um, first off, there is a lot of coverage in Japan about the fact that we had a screening for the movie. And likewise, we were also noticed by Agito's actor. Kashu Toshi friggin tweeted about like basically his happiness with the fact that basically Common Rider hashtag Common Rider is becoming it's trending obviously James Gunn obviously and then even Japanese news outlets are talking about the fact that oh yeah America it's a big deal like a really really big like coverage on Common Rider and they're also saying like oh my gosh James Gunn like the guy that did Guardians of the Galaxy in Japan and it's like yeah it's like it's good that we're doing that however again toxic fans and also basically like the fact that as americans i'm I'm not going to hold my punches here and i apologize for this we're sort of we sort of find it hard to be cultured about things yeah we're way more brash in large we are pretty uncultured and just like we're gonna get pig-headed why aren't there why aren't there lgbt you, like coverage in a Japanese writer series. Why aren't there female, like female main writers, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. Then it just goes back to the friggin' conversation we have with Takeshi. Mm-hmm. So, and again, yeah, I don't. Again, I don't say, I don't say it because like I'm. Oh, I hate the gays. I hate the gays. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying Wait. it because, as Takashi said, and this is the best quote that I've ever heard. One from one of these questions. They're so. They're so easy to try and force the culture that's accepted in the ideals that are accepted in their culture and not the ideals that are accepted in mine. And once you st- once you understand that this is not your country, this is not your culture, this is not the way they think, and you can just shut the fuck up about it, we're going to have a real fun time watching Kuga on fucking Verve. But if you cannot accept that, if you cannot accept that shit happening, if you cannot accept the way they think, the way they feel, the way they write. My god, I can't wait for another fucking reaction to see Fies with Mari getting the <laughs> shit kicked out of her. But, yep. like, if you can't understand that, this is not the show for you. And I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm not saying that to be an asshole. I'm saying this because I don't want for us to get to Fies or Kuga or Agito or any, or fuck, uh, like, Forze. I don't want them 
I don't. Or f- oh god, drive. That's gonna be a nightmare. I don't mm. want us to get to those shows and hear this bullshit over and over and over and over again. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna fall on deaf ears. <laughs> 